Hello and welcome. It's week four and we're on the subject of metabolism. And we're going to begin today with the philosophical issues surrounding metabolism. Now it might sound a bit unusual to think about the idea of a philosophy of metabolism because metabolism is a function of the body and yet the consciousness issues or the mind and the emotion issues which are surrounding the functioning of the metabolism, so this is all of the cellular functioning within the body, are immense, absolutely incredible. So we're going to focus on a couple of, of these things within um, you know, today's video, which is the philosophy and also the science tomorrow. We're not going to go into the whole depth of it, but we're going to pick out a few of the most important issues. So firstly what I want to have a look at is um, some of the, um, the malfunctioning or pathological type of um, mind and emotions issues which actually come in and impede the um, processes of the metabolism. So we'll run through those to begin with and then we'll look at the, their opposite, so the, you know, the natural or progressive uh, consciousnesses which we can work toward and certainly within the trim program that's exactly what we're doing. We're looking at converting these negative ideas, these negative thoughts, these negative beliefs and patterns, habits, uh, into the more positive ones. So the first, the first one is the idea that nothing seems to work. So if, if you're one of these people who seems to have um, everything dysfunctioning, nothing's coming together, nothing's, nothing's in its right place at the right time, then you're suffering from this consciousness that um, you know, every, everything is against you and you have this feeling that everything is against you and that nothing will work. So this, this will be happening at all, all levels within your, your being. So everything from your relationships through to how your body is functioning, through to how your mind is functioning, through to how your emotions are fun functioning, and indeed your entire spiritual connection will have the sense of just nothing works. So very commonly um, within the clinical setting, people will tell me that their, their emotions are just completely out of control. They have absolutely no sense that their emotions uh, working in any normal sort of a way and, um, and and they just feel feel absolutely out of control that there's no flow, there's no connection, there's no control going on here in terms of what's happening with the emotions. The emotions are completely leading them uh, an absolute dance. Going with that is the, the sense that you actually feel not good enough, that you're inadequate, that other people are better than you, that um, their, their bodies seem to work alright, they don't have these relationship problems, they don't have issues with um, how their emotions are, how their body is, uh, everything seems to work much better for them. So there's this sense of inadequacy um, that occurs within people. Naturally enough, coming out of that is that you feel as though you don't actually like yourself. And when this uh, consciousness begins to really become embedded within you, then you end up in a situation where uh, it's a self-reinforcing loop so that the worse things get, the less you like yourself, which in turn creates the pressures and the stresses which lead to your body and, and mind and emotions functioning worse and worse and worse, and it's an absolute downward spiral. Next thing you know, of course, is that you don't like anybody else either because um, either you see them as being impossibly um, you know, good and, and everything about them annoys you, uh, or alternatively you just become so self-destructive that your own self-destruction leads to the need to actually bring down other people around you as well. So uh, you move from the state of actually not liking yourself very much to not liking anybody else at all. So what do we do about this? Within the protocol what we're doing is we're actually directly targeting all of these belief systems and patterns and habits. So nearly all the things that we've been talking about here are habits and they're habits which can be reprogrammed. So what we're doing within the, um, the actual audio program is that we're getting in there and we're reprogramming all of these negative um, patterns and, and belief systems and we are turning them on the head and we're going for the positive expression of them. So the first thing in the positive expression that we're looking for is that we're super efficient. So everything about our being is completely efficient. So from the, you know, from the tiniest functions within the cell all the way up through your systems and your organs, everything is working absolutely peak, in peak performance. So this is in stark contrast to how people are normally thinking, of course. We move on to this uh, concept that we are perfectly adapted and we've talked in earlier videos about the fact that our body is just this incredibly remarkable machine 
that's able to do the most extraordinary um, processes just you know beyond imagination you know you think in terms of something like your liver there's over a thousand biochemical processes that the liver looks after it's, it's, it's amazing absolutely amazing what the body is capable of and yet if we have all these negative ideas about ourselves well then uh, all of it begins to appear to actually go into dysfunction so we hold on to this consciousness that we are a super efficient organism absolutely super efficient the next um, counter um, belief system or, or pattern or, or uh, emotional way of going about things is to actually look at how we are actually relating to um, everybody around us. So we talked about the, the negative idea that we don't like ourselves and we don't like other people and we don't want to cooperate with them. Well, the opposite is that we're focusing on within Trim is that everything in us actually wants to cooperate with everything else. So we are this incredible community of of um, organisms within ourselves, there's uh, 70, trillion cell, uh, 70 trillion bacteria in our bodies, about 30 trillion of our own cells, so just on the level of the bacteria in our own, you know, so-called own cells, we are this amazing community and, um, and the idea that we could all collaborate and work together and cooperate um, requires that we diffuse that consciousness that uh, we don't like anybody else, we have to diffuse that, so um, when we're looking at the external expression of it, of course, we are actually looking at the way in which, as a community, so we're talking now about um, our families and how our families relate to our wider community, then we have an opportunity to actually cooperate and collaborate with one another. And that then, in turn, actually feeds down into our biology as well. So the biology improves the more that we are actually able to um, perform this co cooperation and collaboration with uh, other people around us. The last um, you know, counter program that we can put in with our, our subliminal messaging is around um, the idea, that the opposite idea that we had. So originally we talked about the concept that um, everything seemed to be happening for everybody else and everybody else was in the right place in the right time and we were never there. So the counter program that we put in is that um, we, we are in the perfect place at the perfect time and when the, the great opportunities are actually coming past um, we're there to actually take advantage of those opportunities so, so it's a very very powerful positive consciousness to be looking at to be in the perfect place at the perfect time to take advantage of the perfect opportunities as they're being presented because the truth of the, of the situation is that continuously we are being presented with wonderful opportunities day in day out by the second we're being presented with absolutely wonderful opportunities and all we have to do is actually change around how we are viewing what's coming past us so that we can take advantage of these remarkable opportunities okay so that's the things that i wanted to talk to you about on the subject of the philosophy of metabolism and um, the next video will be some of the science and we'll be getting into the nitty gritty of uh, what's actually happening within the cell and how these ideas that we've been talking about, these philosophical ideas, can be seen to actually be working their way all the way down into these subcellular um, processes. So look forward to seeing you there and um, don't forget if you've got any questions about any of this stuff, make mention of them in the Facebook group and I'll respond to them all. Thanks very much.